in a previous video we reviewed the Gizu 36 watt mini UPS for your router this is another one this is a knockoff from China and you'll you'll find it white label with the um, different names on it. it comes with a whole bunch of cables as well I've had this one for about three years but it's not very good and the reason for that is these DC ports you can see in from this one here the pin actually broke out so the 12 volt output doesn't work anymore so I can only use the USB output now but otherwise uh, as a UPS for something that needs 5 volts it works pretty well the batteries also last quite long and uh, besides the pins breaking I haven't had any problems <clears throat> so how are you gonna connect it to your router you're gonna use one of these cables these these are female to female cables you plug it in there and then this one goes into your router or your fiber box so you you can plug both in and then you have a splitter cable here as well and you also have these conver converters but what you need to do is you need to check the power rating on your router and your your 12 volt AC DC adapters will become redundant so the power rating on your AC DC adapter will indicate whether it's 12 volt or 19 volt the majority of the routers out there are 12 volt some of them are 19 volt if it's 19 volt it's not going to work with these UPSs so with the splitter cable what you could do is you have a single male sorry single female to female you plug one in on that side and then one on this side and then you have two two of them coming out okay let's take a look at the router and how it's gonna go in so for these mini UPSs to work you have to have your fiber box and your router adjacent to one another because the cables for from these UPSs are not very long the AC DC adapter that's coming into your router that's gonna be become redundant and the one going into your fiber box is gonna become redundant as well then you're gonna have one AC DC adapter that's gonna be charging the mini UPS and that's there and then two cables coming out of the 12 volts each of them will come into the fiber box and the router and that's basically how you connect it thank you for watching